Ready? Yep, yep. That's crazy. Oh boy, it's game two between Nick and Andrew. You know what time it is. It is time for this rivalry that is supposedly not a rivalry to come to an end because right now they are both 8-8 eight and eight on recorded lifetime matchups against each other. Those not, that number might not be right. It might be like 9-9 nine nine or 7-7. Seven yeah, seven, they're but tied. The, 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 the fact of the matter is they are even. They're tied even over season. 12 games. At least 12 games, we could, we could say. Which is nuts. Yeah, and... Uh, you know, like we were saying earlier, at least I was saying earlier, that, uh, you know, we're not going to tr crown a Season 4 champ, but, you know, they both have bragging rights to say who would have won Season 4. And, you know, if they want to, you know, I feel like whoever wins this matchup is going to say, no, no, I beat you in the series, so I get to say I was better. Yeah. Or blah, blah, blah. So There's a lot going on here, because if Andrew wins, it's super clean. Andrew has one win over Nick, and beat him, and, and, and beat him twice. And Andrew's third place, and Andrew beat him twice. If Nick wins, it puts Nick one over, and we go on the Game 3... Which, if we go to game three, you could see Andrew win game three, which would give Andrew the third place, but it would make their overall score tied, still right. tied. So, let's see what happens. I want to take a little sippy of this diet Sprite. Mmm, warm. <laughs> and, and Nick had second pick, and he went, what, Captain DK? Captain no, Deeks? actually, he did utilizing the paper draft more and more. He went Boomer King Boo. And he went oh. and, uh, in the match, pick? and then took DK Captain. That so late? Wow! With Birdo still on the board? Yeah. Who's a preference thing with Birdo now? Honestly, I I think Captain Birdo and non-Captain DK is better for a team. But I'm still gonna go and say it. Like I think Birdo gets you into so much trouble because you need her stars. You need her. You need her to not get doubled up. And it's like yes, Birdo's a great player and Birdo has a great egg ball, but. If DK's ball is landed, it's a double every time. I've seen Birdo's ball land and it's a single. I've seen Birdo's ball get doubled up. I've seen Birdo foul her ball. I I, uh, I mean, DK fouls that banana all the time. He does. He does. But I think you're not going to get into trouble as you could with Birdo because you, as like, I can say this, I think, you know, for going to the finals, I think I kind of, I don't want to say know a thing or two, but I've played this game so much to where... I use Birdo, whatever it was, non-captain, captain, or whatever. I save my stars for Birdo. And if it doesn't work, I don't score. Because I'm not giving stars away to other characters. And I like with DK, you don't have to give your stars away. Oh, you see, that's you interesting. You don't have to. You could just slap it and still get a hit. I don't... I, I, I mean, that's not how I play with Birdo. I just... If Birdo has a star, I use it. But, like, I'm still gonna star hit with other people that have them. The thing like, is... The I value Birdo's more than, like, Dry Bones. But if I've got, like, Madge, I'm, I'm giving it the Madge. I would, too. The thing is, if you have Captain Birdo, you're batting Birdo, like either two through four so like if you have birdo with one star or no stars uh, and there's runners on first and second and two outs that's probably your then worst hitter with runners on base if there's no star so it's like you have to kind of always in the back of your mind save a star because you don't because at the end of the day if you were to say hey you have your first two batters on and your third three hitters up with with one or two outs i'd be like yeah and then you're in a good freaking spot you have first and second up with Birdo up and no stars. That's probably one of the worst spots because you've burned at bats with your best hitters and you're not scoring. And then it's like, well, now you only had X amount more times with your best hitters up on base. It's like you're doing what you're supposed to do and you're not being able to score runs because you don't have a star with Birdo. Yeah, you got a interesting team comps. We got both Green Noki and Green Shy Guy playing in this game. Green Shy, uh, I'm assuming Green Shy Guy's on the Birdo team. I think Green Shy Guy's on whatever team Sarah Andrew Birdo's? is. No, well, the Bur Green, whatever team Birdo's on. Green Shy oh, Guy is on Andrew's team with Birdo. Right. Okay. Uh, so Birdo non-captain pick, in my opinion. No. Really, really important to know. Uh, An Birdo. Big tall Andrew's going for a peepers right now, so we're gonna have a little bit of a, <coughs> you know. Now, <laughs> now so what was the second time that? <laughs> Since we can't give advice. That was both. It was the first time was I was in the main the room, room and the second time I was in my room. Yep. Since we can't give advice and Andrew's out of the room, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this, guys. I know me and Dennis like Yoshi in the left field in particular. Uh huh. Um, do you like Yoshi at second with Birdo at short? I do Yoshi short. Him. I do Yoshi left field if I have any other two. Because I'll usually do Birdo short and like Wario right, second. Right. Um, but if there were my only two good infielders, I will do uh, Birdo right. second, Yoshi short. Okay. Not that I'm the best person to ask. So, I, right. so specifically, what did you just change? I only saw something move, Nick. Sorry? What did you just, you just changed. I, I put on the uh, easy batting for Andrew. He'll notice it immediately. What's easy batting? You'll see. Just, just wait. <laughs> <laughs> 
another sip of warm Sprite really the wet in the palate. Yeah, I have um, I have some G Fuel that I've been sipping on and uh, kneaded it through my veins Dude, because we're gonna have G we're gonna Fuel? have uh, yeah we're gonna have I'm gonna be up till four o'clock in the morning. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm playing Maddie. Oh, well, me and Maddie are going extra innings every single game. Yeah, World Series is tonight happening, yeah, brother. Yeah, bud. Let me give you your blood. All seven, seven, brother. Well, if we get to seven. The whole World Series will be played tonight. Washing my hands is a little painful. Why? Oh, because your uh, hand hurts. Uh, Jose, are you okay? Is the water, like, yeah. spicy? <laughs> uh, walker pitch. This is mm, I guess that's a pitch. That's a walk. That's a walk. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is this? What did the fuck hit things off? <laughs> <laughs> you little. Wait, wait, no. Dude, if he didn't return to main man, you would have shit. <laughs> Trust me, uneasy. Just is there a hard did. batting? <laughs> yeah, after I beat you. Is there a hard batting or is it easy and normal? Ooh, that's a. R Ooh! Ooh! Fat Wario. dog. Wow, I thought he was sick. He didn't slide what back to shit? first. <laughs> Wario's not good at ripping dares, but I gotta tell you, his fielding's been great tonight. Great fielding. Yeah. <laughs> I am so sorry to everyone who doesn't love these burps. I'm okay with it. But everyone who does. Everyone who does, if you want a picture of my nips, 30 bucks. <laughs> 30 bucks? It is OnlyFans. 30 bucks, oh, dude. Oh. God damn it. Why would I charge any less? Y Giannis just headbutted somebody. What? Man, what is he doing? Headbutting someone, that's what, what he's doing. What sport is that? Oh, okay. yeah, so late, baseball? <laughs> Do they I fight in think, baseball? I don't think you're allowed there to fight in baseball. I would fight. um I would watch baseball if the batter was allowed to take the bat with them when they ran and defend themselves. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that is the one change I'd make the real baseball and make You're it watchable. At, like, that's It'd be interesting. Sport. I don't know what sport that is, but it's different. Cricket? Is cricket allow that? I'm pretty sure she's aggravated assault. I would love to know. Yeah, the sport is Dennis, assault. Dennis, Maddie, you guys are huge baseball fans. Do you know how cricket works? Uh, <clears throat> I know there is a paddled shaped bat. That you used to hit the ball. Which seems awesome in, 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 high, in practice, you know, like what a oh. big hitbox. <laughs> I know that uh, the score is very high and the games can These last hours. hours. I know it's like, 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 isn't like also like the hitting and the runner, like they're not correlated? Like if you hit, you're not the one running, someone else is running. Mm -hmm. And it's like you have to do three circles to get a point. It's very weird. Yeah. My brother-in-law is British and I asked him and he was like, I don't know, I don't watch cricket. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't believe there's any foul territory. Uh, yeah, you can hit it, you can like hit it behind. Oh, look at that crumb! <laughs> yeah, he look nice. Watch, I gotta watch hard knocks. Yeah. You gotta watch hard cocks when you get home later. Hard knocks. Oh, isn't hard that, knocks! Isn't that the song from Annie? <laughs> it's the hard knock life for us. Yeah, it's the hard knock life for us. us. Yeah, uh, when you live in an orphanage, it's a hard knock life. <laughs> I was gonna start right, spitting rap, and then I couldn't think of it. You were gonna start spitting rap over that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh she goes. Was it gonna be like baseball rap or any rap? <laughs> any rap. It's hard not like She's got the red Yo. hair. She's got the red fair. She's fair skinned, and I just wanna. I don't know. I what? Can't think of anything. I can't rap. <laughs> I wanna <laughs> peel off her skin <laughs> to wear. <laughs> She's got red hair. I will peel her hair. That like dog puppies in her underwear. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa she's eight. It's she's eight. <laughs> yeah, I think Annie's kind of young. Very young, extremely young. I think that's like the whole. Point. Oh, we're she's like eight. Annie? Yeah, yeah. Little, little orphan Annie. Oh, yeah, that's, no, that's, no, that's like Annie Ann. Annie from like the Holocaust or like. <laughs> Who's the Anne Frank? Are you talking about Anne, Anne Frank? Frank? <laughs> Both the wrong to picture in their own. Oh, yeah. Mm, Anne Frank, she's sitting in the attic and I hear it super dank. <laughs> <laughs> and when she gets caught, they're all little skanks. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a hard night. <laughs> Dude, putting that song over, like, Holocaust footage. <laughs> You mentioned it. <laughs> at least stop talking and laughing at the same time. I said Annie, like Annie. I forgot. The little <laughs> orphan Anne Frank. <laughs> In her underwear. Good, good job, Phil. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 you make it sound <laughs> worse. Start putting you in check. Let's switch tragedy so we don't offend only one group of people. Anyone else want to make fun of something horrible? Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. Interesting yeah, choice. That's so. That's an American tragedy, so we can talk about it. <laughs> oh God. Um, I was there. I actually, I just watched uh, the movie, ooh, what was it called? Not Mayday. Um, 
Midway. I watched Midway. Okay. It's a movie about uh, like the response to Pearl Harbor. Right, right, right. Good movie. It was super good. I liked it a lot. Uh, it's got some people I enjoy in it. Um, <laughs> have, my, my, my family has an obsession with uh, that old guy who's, uh, what's his name? It's going to yeah. bother me forever. Woody Stover? Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Not Woody Harrelson, but we like him too. But um, big Woody it was he, he didn't have a big role, and he was the guy who got sick and then got to told to leave the boat. Oh, uh, you Jack know. Quaid. Yeah, Dennis Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid. Quaid. Yeah. My family loves Dennis Quaid. Jack Quaid is the son. Frankly. Jack Quaid is the son. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But um, Midway was good. Um, Pearl Harbor was bad. <laughs> big, uh, big war movie guy. Uh, well, we're, we're, we're going to transition to the war movie. Let's talk about, like, one of the, one, the greatest ones I've ever seen. Uh, 1917 yeah. was oh. so good. I still haven't seen that. I heard, it's a, I heard it was I, I think it might actually be the best war movie I've ever seen. Really? Um, better than Platoon? Better than Platoon, for uh, sure. Really? I still like Apocalypse Now. Apocalypse Now is great. Saving Private Ryan was great, too. Saving Private Ryan was probably my number one. Um, and then when I saw Hacksaw Ridge, I was, like, thinking wow. about it. Yeah. But I, I still... I still gave the nudge to Saving Private Ryan, but I gotta tell you, man, like, Whoa. the one thing that the it's one really thing that 1917 has other over other war movies is like I love war movies; they're good, but I very rarely find myself loving the characters. There's so many of them. Right. You're focused on two dudes for 1917, so yeah. like, you're really it's like really good and you're attached and to them. I think them. the way it's shot with the single camera. Oh, dude, I love it's, that shit. It's, Birdman it's, won a whole ass that, award I think just that for that. Emphasizes the the two. Character yeah, like you're, you're you literally feel, you're, there's not a moment that you don't spend with them. The right. whole you feel even, like you're you feel like you're them. Yeah, you're walking with them. You're you're going with them on this journey right. to deliver a, a, a letter like to uh to Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why my favorite one movie. If I had to pick one, I'm a I'm a big Fury guy. So Dude, that's uh, the tank one, one right? With with Brad Pitt. You know, I was gonna mention Fury, but I thought I'd get laughed out of the room. But uh, I, I like know. Fury a lot. No, the, uh, that's another one where it's basically... It's, got, it's five, yeah. five characters. That's why I like it so much. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of war movies, what's your favorite Nicholas Sparks movie? Nicholas Sparks. Might I need a... Uh, most overrated uh, rom-com. There's a the walk to remember. Uh, I'm going to have to Dear pull up. John. I'm going to need uh, I'm gonna need the entire what, what list. Hold on. No, no, no. Maddie, what'd you say? I said it's not good. The, the what's not good? The notebook. That's a that's a bold. You know, I was gonna be nice and let you uh, let you lose in five. I'm gonna let you lose in four now. Okay. Ooh. Ryan, you like okay. Do I for do Ryan? I, no, I don't know. I don't like the, I don't like the Notebook. I freaking love, love the Notebook. Love, love, love. Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Love Ryan. Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Um. Yeah. Uh, after seeing after seeing all my Amy? options. I, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't. After reviewing all my options, I'm gonna lock in the Notebook as the best no, Nicholas Sparks I'm, uh, movie. I'm a big The Vow guy. That's a is the Vow Nicholas Sparks? Are you okay there? I have a little peaky in my mouth. My, my actual favorite Nicholas Sparks movie slash book is uh, A Walk to Remember. Love that That's movie. a movie. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll always remember. Um, Mandy Moore. If we're going to just talk about, like, like, like my girlfriend dragged me to this, like, quote, air quote movies, um, I recently watched um, Perks of Being a Wallflower for the first time. Was really good. Oh, yo, that's a great movie, dude. That movie had so much. Great, so, like, like they, they, great movie. I, they twisted like like that first thing they do with the with the. Uh, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to spoil yeah, perks or anyone. Spoil it? What do you but mean? there's like a there's like a like a two thirds twist, and I'm like, oh wow, good twist. And after that, they twist it yep. again. Yep. They double twist it, and I'm like, oh double my god. And that's normally like, yeah. It's so it is a <laughs> phenomenal movie. You don't expect which movie yeah. is this? Uh, perks of being a wallflower. Oh, so good. Same guy, uh, ma the, the main the main kid from Fury is the kid in yes. Perks of Being a Wallflower. <laughs> What's his name? Logan Logan Pierce? Logan is that the Pierce. actor? No. Dude, I love that guy. Logan Where is he, man? Give him more stuff. What's his name? Logan, uh, Logan Pierce, I think. Logan Lerman. Logan Yoshi Lerman? Is fast. Did he Logan. underhand that? It's, it's a Logan. Logan. All like, I know is that, that uh, he was in the Percy Jackson movies. <laughs> it is Those Logan are Lerman. Logan Lerman, my bad. And my bad on The Vow, it is not a Nicholas Sparks movie. I knew The Vow wasn't a Nicholas Sparks movie. It's a good movie, I was though. thinking of... Uh, is that the one where Channing Tatum's girlfriend gets, like, amnesia? Yes, and he's like, oh, accident. shit. Yes. I wanted you to look like an but idiot I, I because was you said you of, hated The Notebook. I was thinking of Dear John. Dear John's pretty good. Oh, with Channing Tatum? It's a good movie. La Channing. <laughs> yeah. I, I haven't seen Dear John. I've seen the... What, 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 what wrong comment? I just remember the, uh... Rom-coms are good, man. Has, I, just watched, I watched This Is War for the first time the other day with Reese Witherspoon and, uh... Chris Pine oh. and Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy yes. That was a fun one. Chick, right? Dude, Reese Witherspoon, babe. 
I forgot. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> Reese with Outer Spoon, train wreck. I forgot who. I forgot who the uh, main actress was in Dear John because she was in a lot of movies. From, I would. Stupid. Yeah, she was in a lot of movies from like oh, oh she's from like oh seven to like fifteen, and the last like. Yeah, that's it with the years. huge eyes, small yeah. body. Yeah, yeah. Giant. Is she the? This is a totally weird stretch. Is she the lead in Jennifer's body that isn't Megan Fox? Yeah. I'm, yeah. She, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember, oh, but I, I know Fox. the uh, Dear John is Dear John's kind of a very like so weird so movie. So like. What? I think so, so, so like in, yeah. Dear, in Dear John, yeah, pretty yeah. yeah, a little bit. So, in Dear John, uh, ch I guess she really falls in love with Channing. She falls in love with Channing Tatum in, of like, in like two weeks, right? Uh, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. as I it would was, as well. It was over the summer. I over think so. Summer. Listen, I think some you people. That you didn't tell me you loved me when you were drunk. One I think some people just yeah. know in like a few weeks, a few months. Like, yeah. I don't think you need that much time. I think that's the point of the movie. Though. So yeah. So then. So then. So then, uh... He redeploys. He re he re yeah, he goes out, and then he's like, oh, I'll be back in, like, was it, two years, four years, or whatever it is? Uh -huh. And then 9-11 nine, nine happens. So then all of his all of his buddies, like, are like, oh, we're gonna re, re go into the army. And then the, the I guess the sergeant or whoever it was, in charge of him was like, well, I'm, we're only doing it if every single one of us, because I guess it was his troop, uh, we're, only, we're only doing it if everyone agrees to it. So we kind of, like, had to do it. Uh, plus, obviously, with 9 he, mm -hmm. you know, felt like, you know, he had to get My, I, 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 Right. Yeah. So then, like, he had to be stationed for, I guess, another four years or however long it was going to be. So then she kind of, like, moves on. But she marries, or was well, she marries, like, this guy that was, like, a family friend who's, like, 20-something years older than right. her. Which the guy knew when she was, like, eight or something like that because a family Ooh, friend. Weird. So, it's, so, like, if you've known oh, someone since you were eight, even if they get to be age of, like, 19, 20, yeah, that's, my, that's, like, my, I, my, it's bizarre. So the age difference thing in my eyes is, like, listen, I if, saw, if, if you're... I saw TikTok the other day. It was like a girl saying, "Oh yeah, uh, we've known each other. We're married. Yeah, she's 20, and the guy's like 70." Oh, and that's a way gone. No, oh, <laughs> I heard Mario try. try. Got a big run for Andrew. So what are you saying? I was saying I think like if you want to do the whole like I I'm, I'm married or dating someone a lot older than me, I'm not gonna judge it no matter really why. I know there's like there's like a joke math equation. It's like at something times two minus seven. I'm not 100 percent sure yeah. on that. Yeah, but um, I honestly I won't blink an eye as long as both people are happy. But I gotta be real. If you knew the person before they were like a uh, okay age, it's weird as shit. Yeah. It's like oh, there's only 20 years between us, but I knew her when she was five. Like uh, like what? Uh, how do you ever see anyone younger than you? Like I've got a friend Ashley. Um, she's like she's eight. She just turned 18. We make fun of my one friend Russell. I have a friend named Russell who once you need all this, you need all this context for it to make sense. I have a bunch of friends over for my birthday one year, bunch of girls, bunch of guys. We were playing Trooper oh, Dare. Oh, uh, I think you told me that. Someone. You already shared the story. Yeah. This season. Oh, perfect. Great. I'm glad I said. So my friend Ashley, she just turned, uh, she just turned 18, and Russell's now very active about saying how hot she is because she's like legal now. But like, oh, yeah. I still see her as the 13 year old girl we met. So I can't imagine thinking she's hot. So. That's like the vibe. Like, so imagine, imagine that times like now you're forty and you knew them when they were five. Like it's nuts. Yeah, that's that's insane. So I was gonna mention this. So what's bizarre, and I just looked it up to get reassurance. Uh, so, and no one talks about this, which I still think is kind of bizarre. Celine Dion, she was singing when she was like eleven, right? Damn. Eleven. Her manager is twenty five years older than her. So when she's eleven, what? How old is that? Like thirty six. Thirty six, right? Mm-hmm. She turned 17 or 18 and then married her manager. That's like a thing that happens a lot. It's a lot of like this person's got a lot of strength over my life. I don't know anything better to do. So now like my question is, is He's like. He's still married to her manager? Was it like he, a happy he, relationship? He passed away. They were they were together for like 20 Until he years. died? He passed away 2016. Okay. And they had two, kill, two kids together. But it's hey, like. Man, if they're happy, they're happy. Right. I, I think it's weird for him. I don't think she'd think it's weird because she'd be like, this is someone who's loved me forever. Right. Well, if you're the younger party, you probably always because you always see them as older, which means you could. It's like the whole, uh, like oh, the the, the eight year old has a crush on the sixteen year old babysitter thing. Right. Like, like it'd be weird if it was reciprocated, but it's it's, it's not weird well, like, for the eight year old think, to like them. Well, do you think that when she's like fourteen, he's like in the back of his mind, he's just like, oh, I can't, can't wait. Can't wait for you. To, you know possibly. Know, you know what I'm saying? And that's there are people, like, dude. There's people like that, but it's it's weird as fuck, but they exist. But no one even mentioned it. No one even like. Well, they, 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 they did the whole thing legally. Right. right. She, he waited till she was of age. Right. Also, just double check the plot on, of Dear John on, <laughs> <laughs> on Wikipedia and the. The uh, Alan, the guy that she eventually marries, mm -hmm. over John, 
is actually uh, her neighbor, and they were, they have not known each other that long. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, fine. He is okay. older, and he has. A, I just knew they were family friends, son. right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just knew they were family friends. Okay. Uh, so that makes it better. Yeah. You know what movie I saw oh, by yeah, accident? It's yeah, it's better. Me and my friend went to the movie theater. Uh, we were gonna see Moana, <laughs> and. After Moana, we were still like jonesing for a movie. Oh, no. What? I oh, never. No. Like, no. I've you never bad, seen Moana. Bad bobble. That was the time for first. Yeah, King Blue and oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> but um, me and my friend were still itching for a movie after Moana. We were talking about it as the movie was going on. We'd seen it a million times, right? So we were like talking during the movie. We were the only ones in there. It was a matinee. Um, and I was like, you know what we should do? The second this movie <laughs> ends, let's look at our watches and whatever that time is, the closest movie to that time, we're gonna go see, no matter what it was. And we ended up seeing a Will Smith movie called Collateral Beauty, okay. which was about, like, he, like, writes letters. He has a dead daughter, and he writes letters to death, time, and love to, like, cope. Oh, And gosh. they end up being real. Oh. And I almost shit and vomit. And Sorry. <laughs> it's similar to, um... Christmas Carol with the ghost of Christmas. Past. Exactly. It's like, it's like that, it's people, like that type right. of yes. thing. Yes. Right. Um, and I gotta tell you, man... It was pretty good. I got I got I got slammed on Rotten Tomatoes, but I cried a lot. But granted, I have a I have a very paternal brain, and like the whole dead daughter thing. Every time they mentioned that, I wanted to kill myself because I can't even imagine having a daughter. And I stopped dying. looking at Rotten yeah, yeah. Tomatoes when it comes to movie when I found out that uh, studios now pay Rotten Tomatoes to get higher ratings. Oh yeah, that's hilarious. What? Yeah, I don't know how long it's been going. I on, read but I, feel like I, I like read that. the reviews. I think, I think it's it's something that's more current because if you go but look. At older movies from the 80s, 90s, 70s, the ratings 60s. make sense. The ratings are all uh, pretty accurate. Yeah. But nowadays, it's very off. I just read them because I, I can I can tell when it's a bullshit right. one. And a comedy they'll, movie. They'll be like they'll movie. be like 10 out of 10 was good. And I can tell that one's bullshit. Right. But if someone's like, oh, the cinematography was gorgeous, like, I'll, I'll give it a whirl. Um. Yeah, that movie that movie killed me double hard because my me and my friend were watching Moana, and Collateral Beauty started, and he was uh, flirting with this chick at the theater at the time, and her shift had just started, and he was like, "I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna go say hi to her," and he was gone for the whole fucking movie. So I ended up watching basically all of Collateral Beauty by myself because he was flirting with this chick. I ended up dumping him two years later. So jokes on you, Alan. Two years is yeah, a Alan. Long time. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a pretty good run. Yeah, it did for, for a for while. One movie life. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I didn't mean that's how long the movie was. I meant they started dating and then she dumped him. So, joke's on you. You missed the movie for a bitch. Yeah. I actually went to high school with her older brother. Oh, cool. He's cool. Oh, small world. I know, right? <laughs> My buddy from the movie theater fucks this guy <laughs> went to high school's little sister. Yeah. <laughs> she is fast. Yo, she is a quick boy. She's playing outfield, Yeah. I guess. So uh, it is seven nothing. Uh, we missed a lot of runs, I think. Hey, one seven seven. I got seven coming nothing. Andrew. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you so know. Was it a Bowser Bowser double or something? Bowser Bowser's Bowser brought in runs. I it's know. a late game blowout too. Nothing happened to like what the sixth inning. And he's using a star. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's four stars on Burna. Tasty. Yep. Yeah, you have seven runs. So like, what's the issue? Yeah, right. What's the issue? <laughs> well, you. Well, I'm playing bad. I won. <laughs> It is not over yet, Andrew. Yet. I would not say it over. is over. Unless, Andrew, unless Nick takes his shirt off, but I don't think he's in that mindset. Oh god, I hope he doesn't take his shirt off. Oh fuck, oh god, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck. I was, you know, I was hoping he was losing by the second. Alright, ladies, uh, people, got, people at home, if you start off. chanting. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was that cool. is a deep It's like dive. the shirt came off in his mind. <laughs> <laughs> he like ripped it out. I've been reinvigorated. Um, I can win. Take I can fight. I can see. I can fight. Did he die right after that? No, he, he wins. Okay. I'm pretty sure he gets eaten by the dragon, doesn't he? Okay. Doesn't he get turned in the I bones? I fucking know. What are you, not a family godparents fucking aficionado? You're the club, you're the cartoon guy. It's a cartoon. Family godparents work. It, it sucks now. It's so bad. I'm not talking about Still modern. I'm talking about when it was, uh, was it too long. It's gone now, but it went, it went off the way Did he get a fairy dog or did I make that up? Excuse me, what? I just don't, I don't know think so. Then he get too no, old. He, did get a dog. he got a dog, and then he also have to share his. Then he have to share them with yeah, a, they just a hippie. Yeah, they adding like new gimmicks. Also, Butch Herman's a piece of shit. Who's Butch Herman? The creator. What do you do? He a piece of shit. How? Does he, how? Oh wait, that's the guy that wrote the De Fali Parents, right? Oops, yeah. yeah. What do he do? Oh, that's I don't like know. Nick said he's a piece of shit. Nick said like what we're talking. Nick said he's a piece of shit, and I said what did he do? And Nick said be a piece of shit. So like I don't really know what to say. And then Dennis goes, oh, that's the guy that wrote the Fali Parents. I was looking at the Fantasy Baseball score. He like can't draw, and like he also fucking. 
Oh, um, my B. Why would I walk right now? <laughs> so he can draw. Is, is qualification for piece of shit or for for Nick? He can't draw. Um, no, he did something where he like didn't pay somebody or something. All right. I was I was I was just waiting for like some real piece of shit or if, if he was like he's a piece of shit. I don't like Fairly God Parents. I've been like, hey man, maybe don't call him and do the piece of shit. Did he get like canceled or something? Like, like Coach Hartman? Yeah. 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 Like canceled. I know he's. Canceled, I, know he's like, I know he's a YouTube channel. Like Kevin God. Spacey canceled. I don't think anybody gets Kevin Spacey canceled. It's been a while since someone got Kevin Spacey canceled. You know what's funny? Uh, John, who was here, was saying years ago when we were in high school, mm -hmm. ten over ten years ago, and he's like, Kevin Spacey, I think, is a very weird guy, and the media is hiding. He said it like ten years ago. That's crazy. Yeah, and then, I would say the media wasn't necessarily hiding it. Yeah. I no, I just remember it was always in my mind because I thought Kevin Spacey was a great actor. And hey like, man, when it, someone says something like that, it's like you remember. Yeah, if, it's if, like, if when I was ten, someone told me Donald Trump was going to be the president, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. But then right. when it happened, I'd, it would probably come remember, running, yeah, running, right. rushing back. Whoa. I didn't remember it until like it happened with everything that went on. Kevin Spacey, I think, could have got himself out of that hole if he had not been an idiot. Because as far as what I saw out of all the things people claimed he did. None of them were like outright rape. It was a lot of like, I'm gonna make you uncomfortable. I'm gonna make you uncomfortable. I'm gonna make you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And even the people that were like claiming the thing said, yeah, he just made me really uncomfortable and did things after I said no. But like nothing on like a literal, I'm gonna arrest him happened. Because obviously if he if he right. did, he would he would be in jail. But if he had just handled the, because uh, that was like the beginning of the of the people getting called out. Mm -hmm. If he had like handled it well and apologized and like said his side of the story, but instead he goes, uh, "I'm gay," and that's and that's the reason. Like that was such a bad move. Yeah. I don't know what he thought he was gonna accomplish by saying he was gay. Yeah, and it was so disappointing because House of Cards is easily one of my favorites. Oh, dude, I hear, I hear, I've never watched it. I'm never gonna because I hear it was great, and they had to like fill in the gaps after yeah. he left. The first four seasons are really. I, mean, I it, watched a. It, it rivals Game of Thrones. So, and, 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 and much like Game of Thrones, oh, the ending the is. Ending, <laughs> the ending looked like they covered it with crayon. So. I um, what 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 is it? Uh, <coughs> flipping. Uh, I, did you watch the YouTube video he put out like two Christmases ago, where he was the character from House of Cards saying he was gonna make a big comeback to acting, and then nothing ever happened, and yeah. it was so cryptic and weird. Oh, game's over. Big Andrew win again. All right, I mean, that's huge. That means not only does Andrew now have one game over Nick in all recorded games, but he is the official bronze boy of the World Series. Nick, how do you feel about Andrew being the bronze boy of the World Series? You can have it. I'm playing like shit today. That's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> like, all today, right. Today's an off day for uh, Crit Nick. You never want to see it. Yeah. You never want to see it. Here. I, I enjoyed seeing it. I'm gonna be honest. But no. you know what, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. No, I mean, you know, I wish I did. I wish it didn't go down like that. And I honestly don't know what's up. Uh, I'm just, I guess, I'm just having an off day. And you know, when you're off, you're off. So we didn't play last week. Whatever. Yeah. You know. Would it make you feel gone. better to interview Andrew and let him gloat right in front of you? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. All right. There you go. <laughs> Season six, though, it's coming. Yeah. City Hall. <laughs> like and subscribe. It's a YouTube channel. You can find it by searching uh, City Hall Kingdom Hearts, City Hall Bean Machine. Uh, maybe a lot of. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think uh, Nick should have pitched to Bowser this game. Uh, I think. Um, yeah, Birdo Yoshi is extremely hard to get anything started on. Yeah, they just kind of eat everything. And. Uh, uh, any questions? Uh, are, you, are you the one running the interview here? Yeah, I guess so. You, so, uh, oh, you, you I was gonna, I was gonna say, have YouTube you been, videos? have you been practicing <laughs> at all since you've been in uh, New Paul's? Or was the last time you picked up the sticks? The last time you uh, came here? The, the latter. That is correct. Last time I picked up the sticks was last time I was here. Yeah, you, uh, you played well. Yeah. Every, every, every game tonight, you took two off of Felt. Uh, you played me. Our first game was very close, and then you just took two off of Nick. Well, really, I'm I guess dialed. I guess two and a half because you still scored a run in the three inning game, and you know. Hey, the, 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 I think I'm really starting to feel the game. You know, so a the bronze same medal. This connect huge. between me, controller, console, and TV yeah. is is becoming. Just me and the yeah. game. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say <laughs> this coming from the man who said he has a uh, 12 RPMs. Of I ain't saying it's like a lag-free connection. <laughs> you, 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 
I guess now have a better record than Nick based off of what Nolan's saying. Like compared and, to uh, yeah, and like our it's together. And you t- you you took a game on Gil this season. I did. And uh, I think not Dennis though. Yeah, well, <laughs> and and uh, that's uh, <laughs> that's good. That's great. I mean, I think you know that if if you were to say last season, hey, you're gonna have a better record than Gil. In this during the season, one and zero, and finish in third uh, place. I, I mean, wouldn't think that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, third place. I'd be like, are you kidding me? Yeah, that I'm not first. But I was. <laughs> you swept. But, but maybe like, I beat Gil. Gil played. What? Yeah, <laughs> I was. I was driving Andrew on the way over here. On the way over, he was like, "Yep, Feltman's gonna round one me, and then I'll be on commentary the rest of the night." And here he is, holding the bronze medal high. It's a good medal. It's like the third best one. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the uh, first game of the any, World any Series. Uh, Andrew, what? spell... Uh, winner. Spell... <laughs> spell winner! Spell prestidigitation. Prestidigitate. Why don't you just spell bronze and stuff? How about you just spell prestigious? Prestigious. Prestigious? prestigious. Yeah, same word. Same kind of um, well, I played enough Call of Duty to know this. <laughs> P-R-E-S-T-E-G... E O U S. No. Wait, what? He, he put an replace, E where it should Replace the I with the E. It was uh, E with an I. <laughs> Alright, thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you for uh, World, World Series. Series. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's go!